I want to move to the American Conference where I have a simple question for you. Is anybody good? Uh, Memphis has now lost back-to-back games this week after being kind of a poll darling and a little bit of a metrics darling. Like, they were working their way up in the right spot. They've fallen all the way down to 51st on Ken Palm now after losing to South Florida and Tulane in back-to-back games. Meanwhile, Florida Atlantic, I don't know what Florida Atlantic's doing. I think they might be prestiging everybody. Like, I think Dusty May might be, like, Christian bailing America right now. That's what I think is going on. Uh, I think he just has a trick up his sleeve and he knows he can keep flirting with disaster and maybe like he's keeping the egos down. Maybe it keeps Florida Atlantic out of the national picture, which is what he wants. If they keep trailing teams by like 11 at halftime and then coming back to win in overtime against UTSA, who's objectively horrible, by the way. But bottom line, Florida Atlantic and Memphis both look bad right now. Are they bad? Are they good? What do you make of this? Uh, before I get into his, his prestige a movie. Yes, it's a movie. Okay, I've never seen it. Uh, but I get the premise of it from your description um, and what you're saying right there. Uh, two different kind of uh, wavelengths for me on this one. I, I kind of agree with you that I think Florida Atlantic is just trying to kind of just lay low a little bit. And it, it's, it's weird watching them because they had the pieces that they had earlier on in the year, but they just seem to just – straight up struggle. I mean, a lot of the things are defensively. They're not able to get stops, which is kind of crazy to me because I consider them a team with some pretty good perimeter defenders and then a pretty good defender down low to protect the rim and big, uh, big golden. So uh, I, I really don't know what it is, but I truly think that they are kind of doing the lay low thing and they'll be okay. Now, on the other hand, my Memphis Tigers, as I've referred to them the whole season, red alert, press the panic button, we have issues. Um, And this is the basketball metaphor or example I'm going to use for this. You know how everyone was like, oh, I'm not buying this Kentucky team. They're so young. They're so young. They're going to make mistakes. They're going to like fall apart. They're going to make young basketball player mistakes. And that's why everyone kind of got out on Kentucky early on in the season. The reason I'm hitting the panic button with this Memphis team is because they have those issues, like making mistakes, like, but everyone on the team has played over five years of college basketball. So you're getting young basketball player mistakes, simple mistakes out of guys that are 23. That, that shouldn't be happening. Yeah. I just think that they are lacking things on the defensive end as far as rotations. Um, You know, they're, they're, they're just making so many, especially defensively, they just make so many mistakes. And it's a thing that you expect to see out of a young basketball team. And it's coming out of the guys, like I said, that are all older, experienced basketball players. So to me, that's a major, major cause for concern if that's happening at this point in the season. And look, they've been flirting with it for a while. And now it's like actually starting to hurt them in the loss column and obviously the metrics column as well, where they're putting themselves in a very dangerous position. Yeah, things are really, really weird, like really weird. Uh, They're now four and two in conference, obviously lose two games this week, like that takes a dip. They were 4-0 coming in, though, so they had been surviving disaster. But the weird thing about the American man, it's like the bad teams are really bad. Like Tulsa, Temple, UTSA, and Wichita State all have five losses in conference play already in six games. That's insane. And then there's Florida Atlantic, Charlotte, uh, SMU, North Texas, South Florida, and UAB all only have one loss in conference. So Memphis is already seventh in the American right now. And look, this conference to me is only getting two teams in the NCAA tournament max. But if Memphis like is in the middle of the pack at the end of the year, aren't they not making the tournament? <laughs> like, oh, no, we're, we're looking at, we're, we're looking at one bid automatic qualifier. America. Which is crazy. It's crazy. And I don't know, like, I don't think it's a foregone conclusion. Florida Atlantic wins this league. I don't think it's a foregone conclusion. They win the American tournament, but like, I think if if FAU at this point did not win this league and did not win the conference tournament, I don't think they would be it. That Arizona win is going to hold up, but like they're just so close. Like they start losing some of these games, man. If you lose to UTSA, you're on the wrong side of the bubble and like credit them for not doing it. But I just, I don't know what to make of it. I can joke about it. Like, saying Dusty May is like just pulling a rabbit out of his hat. But the reality of it is like, I don't think either one of these teams are that good. 
I just don't. Like Florida Atlantic, we had hope for being a top 25 team. They're 26th on Ken Palm right now, 15 and four. But again, that record is so close to being like 13 and six with losses to Tulane and UTSA and Wichita State. Like every single night, this team is in a dogfight with three minutes left. And I think they're significantly better than Memphis, but um, weird shit is happening right now. I don't like the vibes. And uh, I don't like accusing our friends, Car. We're friends of the program sometimes of doing some things. I think Field of 68 cursed these two teams. That's what I think happened. You, because you know the exact night I'm talking about. About three weeks ago, there was a very particular night on the field of 68 after dark where the entire show was centered around: Are there two Final Four teams from the American? Are there are there two national title contenders? They can win it all, and ah, hasn't looked the same since. Yeah. I need them to start talking about Michigan State being being bad. <laughs> 